I'm using the robot voice for this video, because I cannot record my real voice. So anyways for this thought bubble video I'm gonna talk about something that I've noticed amongst K-pop stands. K-pop stands are lazy, and I found that out through watching K-tube videos. I was watching a video, things that I don't wanna see in 2023 K-pop, and the K-tuber said in one of their things about how they want more of something, I don't remember what it was, but basically they wanted more of the thing they were talking about in K-pop music and this led me to make this video, because it showed me how this K-tuber shows how K-pop stands are lazy. The thing that this K-pop stand talked about in one of their things, is actually there in K-pop quite a bit, but they saying I want more of it, is funny only because it shows that K-pop stands want certain things to come to them in K-pop, rather than them going to search for them. They say boy groups do dark and noise music, and want boy groups to do better, but instead of searching for good music amongst boy groups, which exists, they'd rather be lazy, hoping for the companies to bring the good boy group music to them, rather than them searching for it. It's so annoying how K-pop stands will constantly complain on the internet about things, be it on K-Tube, Twitter or basically any social media platform, but will never try to find a solution to what they're looking for, which for the most part exists. They'd rather be lazy and wait for companies to serve them what they need on a plate directly in front of their face, rather than them going to serve themselves. Why can't K-pop stands just go and do themselves research, instead of sitting on their asses complaining on the internet about how K-pop needs this, K-pop needs that. Whatever they scream about, exists if they go search for it, but no. K-pop stands are the laziest people that I've seen, not all but most, and K-pop stands laziness are the reason that I debunk things and what the purpose of this channel has become. Because a lot of these misinformations started due to K-pop stands lazy selves, and half-assed research only looking at bigger companies and the big three, not trying to do some proper hard research. I just wished K-pop stands would stop being so lazy, and start having to check up on things, so that whatever they say they want more of in K-pop, they'll realize that it exists and it's there, and they'll stop being like, I want more of this in K-pop. In conclusion, K-pop stands just need to check out new songs, new groups or new something. You guys say that you want more of things in K-pop, but don't wanna see if it actually exists. The thing about you K-pop stands, is that you're wishing for more of certain things in K-pop, which exists, and then when companies, groups, songs etc. start bringing more of that thing you want, you praise those companies, groups, songs for bringing more of those things like it's been dead or very less. It hasn't. You just like to give your two cents on the internet about how this concept needs a return, that thing needs to be done more and things, but you don't wanna see if it's actually already present in K-pop. I've said this a lot, if you see groups doing something that you don't like and you want less of it, it doesn't mean everyone is doing it or following it. Yes there are quite a bit of groups who are doing the thing you hate and want less off, but that doesn't mean everyone is doing it, and instead of saying how it should be done less, and making opinions on it, you should go search for artists not doing it, because every year so many groups debut and you only be looking at big three, hive and bigger budgeted labels. If you see a group not doing something that you like, a concept or sound, and you want more of it, it doesn't mean that it's dying or dead. Bigger budgeted groups aren't the only ones to exist, and not everyone is doing different things, and you'll only know if a concept or sound you want more in K-pop, is dead if bigger budgeted and smaller budgeted groups aren't doing it. Just because bigger budgeted groups don't do a concept, sound or whatever it doesn't mean it's dead or dying or needs to make a return, example, cute concepts. Smaller budgeted and decent budgeted, ones with views ranging from 1,000 all the way up to maybe 1 million 2 million, exist too. They also make up K-pop. Stop forgetting that they exist. Stop acting like a concept, sound or whatever is dead, and when a bigger budgeted group debuts into K-pop with that concept, sound or whatever, stop praising them as the group who brought back the concept, sound or whatever, when there are smaller, unknown, unpopular groups who are probably also doing or done the same concept, sound or whatever around the time, close to the time or before the time of their debut. Just do some research and you'll see the reality of things.